I just want to document what I've done today. Do you see this X11 icon? This runs the X window system. I click on it, and you can't see, but up here, it shows that it's active at the top of my Mac. I can run applications. You know, I'd better change the focus here. Okay, I switched over to the X11, and as you can see here on the top, it shows me the menu for X11. Okay, it has an applications menu, and I can run either the X terminal, X man, or X logo. Let me try this. X man. That, that means that's the man pages in a GUI. So let's try manual page. I guess I have to double click it. Okay, there's the manual page. And I guess it allows me to run other manual pages. Open new man page. Hmm. Okay, how about selection? User command, file format, games, miscellaneous. I'm not sure how to use this. Okay. Anyways, the reason that I installed this. By the way, there is X11 help. Okay. <clears throat> okay, here's the website where I downloaded the upgraded version. And let me try to explain to you the reason I became interested in X11. Okay, let me go to other bookmarks here. Okay, let me go to the, all the bookmarks. Bookmarks manager. Okay, cool stuff. All right, in cool stuff here, I have a whole bunch of links to... Okay, the reason I became interested in this is because I was thinking of making a lot of my apps as bash scripts, but I was interested in Unix-type GUIs for my bash script, and it turns out that I can use a Unix utility called Dialog, and it looks like this, but this is very basic, and it will only appear within the terminal window. I found out that there's something also called xDialog instead of just dialog. And that can also be run by my bash script on in, using one command. However, in order to run it, I need to have x11 running on my Mac. Okay? So basically, I would have a bash script on my Liquid Web server, and I would run it in a terminal, and I would be able to issue a bash command that has x dialog in it, the word x dialog, and that would launch a dialog box outside of the terminal. And it's outside the terminal, but the terminal is what instructs x11 to launch it, to launch that dialog box. And in order for this to work, x11 has to be running. On the other hand, there's something called Zenity, which does not rely on x11. It relies on the native windowing system on my Mac. And if I had a Microsoft Windows computer, it would rely on the native Windows, you know, the Windows server, which controls the GUI, what appears, okay? I'm not sure about the Windows, Microsoft Windows part, but that's how it works. And all these links have information about this topic.